So to do these analysis, there are usually two methods more a broad category of methods to do. Uh, the first one is the called overrepresentation analysis, so a hypergeometric test. And in that test, basically, is a is a table like this one uh, that you will do uh, either a uh, quiz squared or a, a Fisher test. So imagine that you have uh, the, your list of selected genes, so for example, not selected or selected. And then you also have list which genes of those ones that you selected are in a gene ontology term or not in that term. So for example, in this case, from the, the ones that are in the gene ontology term, uh, about 10, eight of them are in my list of differentially expressed genes. And that will give, uh, uh, give me a significant p-value because most of those genes are actually belonging to, to my list of differential gene expression. So, and basically that's what the, the test will uh, try to do. May I um, ask about this? Yes. Um, so I'm wondering like here, uh, because 19,768 genes in a non no, not in the goal term is quite a lot compared to maybe the amount of genes that you might have in your cell clusters. So do you have to mm -hmm. correct for this to not get an overestimation of enrichment? Yeah, so, goal terms? yeah, so the test will take this number in consideration as well. How many of the selected genes are in here? So eight over 92. So 8% of my genes are belonging to one gene ontology term. So this one is like all the other genes. In the background list then, you, do you have yeah. to change the background to the backgrounds of your cell population or would you, for example, use then a genome-wide uh, background? Um, I mean, that actually could depend on the question, right? Um, but I, by default, I would do the, the background, like all the, the genes that I have. So I, I normally would would take all genes that are expressed in at least five cells or uh, something like that, similar to the yeah. cutoffs you had for differential expression, yeah. and have that as a background. So what does this mean visually? So imagine that you have all the genes in your universe in this big square here. And these are the selected genes, so like the genes that I consider differentially expressed by a p-value cutoff and a log flow change cutoff. And if I see that term one, for example, most of the genes are actually belonging to my selected terms, I would say that this uh, term one will have a higher p-value. So here I'm plotting the minus log 10 of the p-value of the flow change. So it's a, this term is very uh, significant. Another term has exactly the same amount of terms enriched but there are many other terms that are not. Uh, so then this will have a lower p-value. Term three has more genes that are not enriched. So we'll have a lower p-value and so on and so forth. So both the size of the term and how much uh, percentage of those genes are inside my list of selected genes will affect how enriched they are. So basically this is what the over-representation test uh, do.